Greetings, my brothers. This is your main man, Sean Blazington, and I want you to close your eyes and imagine riding shotgun with Ricky Ross Rose. Oh, yeah. Now keep your eyes closed as I grab these documentations and lay this game down on you. All right. Rick Ross hit a U-turn and pull into the wing stop. And you think to yourself, Rick Ross is the owner of Wingstop, so I know I'm about to get me some free wings. Y'all step out of the Cadillac and walk into the Wingstop, and then he tells you to follow him to his office. But on your way to his office, my brother, you see a bunch of dead-ass chicken wings laying all over the place. Arm, leg, leg, arm, head. You see hundreds of chickens and all the motherfuckers dead. You start thinking to yourself, I don't want to eat this bullshit, but I know it's going to taste better once it's cooked. You see all them dead-ass chickens in that kitchen? It's so disgusting you don't even want to look. Rick Ross sit back in his leather chair and tell you about how he went from rags to riches. He tells you all about his correctional officer days and how he had to lock up plenty of niggas. And then he tells you about how he got in the rap game doing gangster shit, selling birds and pigeons. And then he tells you how he hooked up with Wingstop. Now he's an entrepreneur selling chickens. And then he tells you that the chicken that he buy for his restaurant don't even come from a farm. He tells you those chicken wings was grown in a laboratory and those chickens was never even born. What? Soon after he says that, my brother, you start thinking about every restaurant on every corner. Everywhere in the world. Every place that sells chicken in your neighborhood. And then you start thinking about all the places in your city and then in the state. And then you think about all the places selling chicken in the world. In the world. Then you ask yourself, where the hell is all this chicken coming from? Now let's take a second, my brothers, to get into these Uh, motherfucking documents because they hot. They've been waiting all week. They've been waiting for them documentation. in the comment section asking, where's the documents at? Well, here they they go. All right, now. It says here. Hold on, let me brace myself. The Food and Drug Administration is exactly what they say they are. The Food and Drug Administration. So therefore, the food that you eat is drugs. You don't eat food because you're hungry, dummy. You eat food because you're addicted to the shit. It says here that's why rappers like Rick Ross is getting into the fast food industry because food is drugs. Don't you know that in the early 1800s, salt and sugar was illegal because it was so addictive? That's why niggas like Rick Ross rap about selling birds and chickens and then turn around and sell birds and chickens and you ignorant motherfuckers hooked on it just like crack rock. It says here, what it say, brother? Take your time, take that your Rick time. Rick Ross take pride in killing his people with chicken wings. I ain't gonna lie, I had a 20 piece last night, brother. I did. I want you to think about something, my brothers and sisters. What's that? Remember back when KFC was Kentucky Fried Chicken? Sure was. Then they had to change their name to KFC because it was false advertisement to say Kentucky Fried Chicken because they wasn't selling chicken. Them clones. None of these restaurants are selling chicken. And you want to know why they call it Popeyes? Oh, it says here in my documentation, oh, the reason why they call the restaurant Popeyes is because before they could open the first restaurant, they had to test their chicken wings on test dummies. And when those test dummies taste that chicken, their eyes pop straight out their motherfucking head. Damn! And some of y'all granddaddies and grandmamas be biting into that chicken and their eyes still be popping out their heads. It says here, Woo! Lord have mercy. Don't eat Popeye's chicken, my brother. And not only is it not good for you, it's picking on your black ass. Talking about Popeye's. The last time I seen a nigga's eyes pop out his heads is when a thick Woody walked by. Now back to Rick Ross. Can you really trust a brother that was a corrections officer? Do you really believe he has your best interests at heart? Well, no, because if he had the chance, he would lock my black ass up. I don't trust his fat ass. Would you really eat something that Rick Ross recommends for you to eat? Hell no, it's obvious he don't like niggas. These chicken products are grown limb by limb. Yeah, they grow them bitches in the laboratory. Every chicken wing is small, so therefore it had to be a young chicken. Do you really believe that they slaughter all of these young chickens just to make chicken wings? Well, yeah. Well, what about the chickens that's going to give birth to the eggs? I can go anywhere right now and get me a 20-piece wing. True. Now ask yourself this question. What's that? How long has that chicken been dead before it made it to your plate? I don't know. Has it been a week? I don't know. Has it been two weeks? I don't know. Has it been a month? I don't know. Has it been two months? I don't know. Has it been a year? I don't know. You don't know how long that chicken has been dead before it made it to your plate. 
and the reason why it don't matter is because it's not really chicken in the first place. They shouldn't call it wing stop. They should call it stop the wings because they need to stop selling people this bullshit. Boy, Next so time you go to bite into a chicken wing, my brother, think about this video and think about that sleaze ball Rick Ross. If he got something to do with it, you know it ain't no I'm good. I would really love it and appreciate it if you guys subscribe to the channel and leave a comment.